everybody, it's Miss Delaney here for another Chair of Choir class. How are you guys today? I'm really happy that spring is pretty much here, at least it feels like it. <laughs> All right, so when everybody's ready, let's grab our drums. And if we don't have a drum, as always, that is okay. We can always clap our hands, or we can tap the floor, or our laps, whatever works. All right, everybody, here we go. Here's my drum. <laughs> gather, 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 gather at the drum, at the drum. Drumming, 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 drumming. It's so fun, it's so fun. Gather, 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 gather at the drum, at the drum. Let's see if we can do it one more time. All right, everybody, ready? Here we go. Gather, 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 gather at the drum, at the drum. And drumming, 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 drumming. It's so fun. It's so fun. <laughs> All right, and we'll put our little drums away. Goodbye, drums. All right, and this time, if you have any shaker eggs at home or any kind of instrument, I actually have a really cool box of instruments over here. If you have any of those instruments, now would be an excellent time to go grab those. I have a tambourine. I have some shakers. Let's see. Oh. I have some clackers. So if you have anything like this at home, anything that makes like a little bit of noise, you can go grab that. If not, that's okay. We can always clap or dance, sing along, anything like that. I'm gonna have my tambourine here with me. We're gonna sing our Hello Everybody song. All right, here we go. everybody so I don't know if you caught it but I mentioned if you have any furry friends at home for our furry friends to clap now I don't know about you guys but I know I have a little friend at home his name is Harper and he's a kitty cat so one thing I know about kitty cats is a lot of them don't really like mice that much so we also have a friend here named Middleton Mouse and we're going to we're going to help him get the cheese little crumbles all over the floor and we're going to help him escape the kitty cat okay we're going to sing a song about Middleton Mouse here we go so if you have an instrument keep it with you and we're going to use our instrument while we sing this song okay here we go Middleton
We have one more little mouse themed activity today. Middleton's gonna help us with this one. Here, I'll put him right up here. There he is, in the little bookshelf. All right, so everybody, I need to see those little fingers. We're gonna do one hand first and then the other hand, okay? Ready? Five little mice, all curled up in a nest. One woke, two woke, so did the rest. They climbed the ladder all the way to the top. But when they slipped, they belly flopped. Can you guys belly flop? You can either clap your hands or we can belly flop right on the floor. <laughs> Alrighty, other hand everybody. Five little mice, all curled up in a nest. One woke, two woke, so did the rest. They climbed the ladder all the way to the top. But when they slipped, they belly flopped. <laughs> Great job. All right, I don't know if you guys remember this one, but a while back we sang a song called Tap Your Sticks. So if you have sticks at home, kind of like this, you can grab those. If you don't have sticks though, that's okay. We can use our hands. We can clap our hands on the air. We can tap them on the floor, to the right, and to the left. All right, everybody, here we go. Tap your sticks in the air with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks on the floor with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks in the air with the one, two, three. Tap your sticks on the floor with the one, two, three. We're gonna go right now, ready? So does anybody at home have scarves? Here's mine. If you don't have a scarf again, that's all right. We don't need one. <laughs> but if you have one, you're more than welcome to grab it. Another thing you can use instead of a scarf would maybe be like, maybe like a blankie. Um, let's see. Hmm, maybe like even a piece of yarn or something. Something to kind of flow around in the air. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody, here we go. We're gonna sing You Are My Sunshine. With our scarves. So we're gonna flow around with our scarves, dance around. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. everybody. Alrighty, so we got a couple more things to do. Do you guys know the garden song? 
I know that it's one that a lot of times we'll sing at Pilgrim Lodge if you go to Pilgrim Lodge. But we're going to sing that one together since spring is coming right around the corner. Let's see if you guys remember it. All right. And if you have an instrument, you're more than welcome to grab it, but you don't have to. All right, here we go. shaker eggs. Do you guys have shaker eggs? All right, if you don't, that's okay. Again, we can use our bodies, we can dance it out. I have one right here. It actually looks like a little ladybug. <laughs> All right, everybody, we're gonna sing I Know a Chicken. So everybody, if you're still sitting, we need to stand up, okay? All right, here we go.
goodness. It was a shaky egg. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody. Great job. We can put our instruments all away. And it is time for story time. So if you have a pillow or a stuffed animal, a blankie, you can grab that. And we're gonna come down nice and close so you can see. We're gonna read a story today. This is called Ellie's Long Walk. And this is a true story about two friends on the Appalachian Trail. So the Appalachian Trail is one of the biggest trails I honestly think ever. <laughs> it's pretty big, it's a pretty awesome trail. All right, so here we go. And we're not gonna read the whole thing this week. We're gonna read part of it and then finish it next week, okay? So, Ellie raced to the side of the puppy pen to see who was coming. When she saw Pam, Ellie reached up with her tiny front paws as if to say, pick me, pick me. There were still seven little puppies, all needed a home. Ellie was a black puppy with a white blaze on her chest. When Ellie and Pam looked at each other, the puppy sat right down, lowered her head, and pulled her ears back, showing good dog manners. Pam smiled and scooped Ellie into her arms. I'll adopt this one. She behaves and will make a very nice friend. Ellie moved into a big round pen next to Pam's desk so that they could be together all day. The puppy wagged her little tail as she sniffed every inch of her new home. I see you like to explore new places, Ellie, said Pam. Me too. You and I are going to make a fine team. So it looks like here is Ellie and her new owner, Pam. All right, here we go. <laughs> when Ellie was about six months old, Pam began making plans to hike the Appalachian Trail. The trail is more than 2,000 miles long, stretching all the way from Maine, where we live, to Georgia. So Pam would have to walk many long hours every day for six months to hike the whole trail. She wanted company, but wondered if Ellie was too young for such a difficult journey. The only way to find out was to start training. For the next two months, Pam and Ellie walked three hours every day. Ellie didn't mind it in the least. She loved going for long walks with Pam. Maybe you can hike the trail, Pam said, but there was still something else young Ellie needed to learn. So there she is. Whoops. There's little Ellie. <laughs> on the Appalachian Trail, they would both carry packs on their backs. Pam would carry a tent, sleeping bag, food, and maps. Ellie would carry her food, a bowl, and her little toenail clippers. <laughs> Pack training started right away. When Pam first strapped Ellie's pack on her, the puppy jumped straight up, spun around, and tried to shake it off. Pam laughed as she straightened the pack. Don't worry, you'll get used to it. That first day, they wore empty packs. Each day, Pam added small weights. The packs got heavier and heavier. After four months, Pam and Ellie could carry fully loaded packs and walked six miles without getting tired. They were ready to begin their journey. So at first, Ellie didn't really like the packs, but eventually it all worked out. <laughs> all right, one more page and then we're gonna pause for this week, okay? There they are. Finally, the big day arrived. It was August. Ellie was 13 months old, so she was about a year old, a little over a year. And Pam had just driven them all the way from Alaska to Maine to start their hike. At the head of the trail, Ellie barked and bounced up and down. She was so excited. 
Ready to go for a really long walk, asked Pam. <laughs> Ellie stood with her mouth open and her tongue hanging out in a big doggy smile, as if to say, you betcha. <laughs> Together they entered the thick forest and began their hike south. And that's where we're gonna stop for today. All right, everybody. You all did an amazing job today. Thank you for joining me. And it is now time to sing our goodbye song, all right? Goodbye, goodbye to you and you and you. Goodbye, goodbye. May God watch over you. Goodbye, goodbye to you and you and you. Goodbye. Goodbye, may God watch over you. Goodbye, goodbye to you and you and you. Goodbye, goodbye, may God watch over you. Thank you, everybody. Have a great week. See you next time. <laughs>